Mic test, mic test check. Mic check test one, two, three, four. Mic test check one, two. We'll just let's go. What's up, guys? So today, like the title says, is more of just a kind of chilled, laid back video. Um, kind of wanted to do a what's in my bag slash get to know me type video because never done one of those before and I assume a lot of you guys don't really know me outside of just this YouTube channel and a little bit of like the psychopathicness I post on Instagram sometimes. Follow me on Instagram at Eddie underscore G E D D I E underscore G. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's get into what I kind of just like is my EDC photography kind of go-to or filmmaking for YouTube stuff type bag. Now, the one thing I can't really show that's in my bag is my camera. It's the Fuji X-T4 that I kind of use. Um, that usually goes in this big Bertha bag right here. And I'm usually rocking the 16 millimeter 2.8 or the uh, 23 millimeter 2 or 2, whatever, F2 lenses. I don't think they're 2.8, they're F2. Um, but let's just kind of break this down bag by bag first. So depending on what I'm doing, I'll be using either one or the other bag. So we'll start off with the bigger bag. This is the Peak Design Everyday Sling. This is the uh, 6L, 6 liter. And um, I went with this one because, you know, outside of just like making videos and stuff, like if I'm just kind of moving around and whatnot all day or just kind of traveling around, the city or to work and home and you know I don't feel like carrying my laptop I can carry my iPad in here so iPads actually sitting outside the bag right now and I don't feel like stuffing it in there but it does fit with like the keyboard and stuff but yeah iPad Pro 11 inch fits in there absolutely perfectly love using that thing with the keyboard it's really fun um, on the outside of the bag I have the little peak design clip strap thingy whatever you call it quick release strap fix thing it's a little loose right now but that's what i will use sometimes if i'm kind of just in a more quiet spot I'm walking around with the fuji and i'm taking pictures with like the like or something like that i'll just strap the camera or you know clip it onto the side of the bag and just let it hang while i kind of just walk around in front of my chest opposed to like stuffing away in a bag when i want to take photos and stuff just throw it down on the bag whip up the camera ch -ch -ch -ch. All right, I wanna record a clip, bam, take it off, continue recording, it's fast. I wish I could show you, but I'm too lazy to like set up another camera setup. So let's kind of just go through the bag here. Um, in the front pocket here is where I like to kind of carry my filter. So currently I kind of rock my little ghetto fied black pro mist setup on here, Tiffin black pro mist quarter filter. Um, and I have a bunch of step up rings on it that I use for uh, obviously these smaller Fuji lenses. I have more appropriate size lenses so I don't have to have all those step up rings. And then I carry the Tiffin variable ND filter. Not my favorite filter by any stretch. Um, it gets the job done, it's all right. Again, it looks ridiculous on the small lenses because it's so huge. But again, it, it, it gets the job done. I have another, like a newer indie filter that I pre-ordered off of a like Kickstarter or Indiegogo campaign. It should be coming this month or next month. Pre-ordered this a long time ago, but it's been a while. So I'm super excited to use that, but that's all I kind of carry in the front pocket. Sometimes I'll have my um, little Sharpie for marking my film exposures when I shoot a roll of film, but for the most part, that's it. So diving into the bag, again, this is six liter, so it has this beautiful pocket in the back that you can slide the iPad into. And then it has a nice little front pocket up here. And right now, I just have a nice little Sharpie that I keep in there to, again, label film at whatever proper exposures. I keep other things like these little tripod plates for all this peak design stuff my AirPods, and um, you know, just regular tools. The little screw mount for my GoPro, and then, you know, a nice little hex key wrench for, again, all my Peak Design tripod necessities. Um, inside as well, I really like this bag because it has these side pockets, so I can like kind of throw some like 120 film into there. I hope you guys can see that. Um, 
and that's really nice. And then I have these dividers inside of here. So I can kind of like, let's see, I can fold them down a little bit and uh, stack a lens or something on top of, you know, whatever whatever is underneath it, which is usually a smaller camera or another lens. So I can just have, you know, usually two or three lenses on one side of the bag um, or just, you know, one big lens or one's camera, one camera. Uh, so obviously on one side I have the Leica M6, which you all know, it's my baby, my EDC, always carrying that thing around. Um, <laughs> And then on the other side, which I use for a lot of filming, one is my GoPro Hero 8. And I actually have the media mod on this um, camera, which like comes with like a little microphone on the front and back. But I actually don't use it like that. Uh, I like the media mod because if you can see, it has these hot shoe mounts, one on the side one on the top, and then it has, you know, your port so you can plug in a microphone, um, USB-C to charge it and whatnot on the back. So what I will do is I'll usually go out and I'll have it mic'd up. This this is actually a transmitter I received. This is the Rode um, Wireless Go, I believe it's called. And I love this mic. Extremely good quality, comes with the transmitter and receiver so i definitely recommend picking you know this up um it's fairly inexpensive it's like a hundred something dollars i believe or 80 i'm not sure I wanna, I'm, we're just gonna say 100 let's go high so if it's lower you know expectations are are lowered no you know what i meant Never mind. Um, but uh, kind of confused with what I was trying to say there. But yeah, again, you can just hot shoe it on the mount there and like things on there, fairly good. Really, really good. And so basically, you can just plug it into the back of the GoPro, like so, and you know, have the transmitter just kind of clipped to you and record your audio when you're out and about. Nice little vlog camera if you don't want to carry the Fuji X-T4, which is what I've been doing for some time um and sometimes i'll also carry around this bigger mic which is the rode video mic mini or go i don't know what this thing is called i do use it all the time though again rode makes some really good mics uh, i used to own a lot of their old stuff when i started filmmaking and you know now i own some of their newer stuff and it is all great it comes with this nice little wind cover and whatnot but this is good for just kind of just you know, self vlog, vlogging type stuff and whatnot. Uh, but that's usually all I carry in this bag. Pretty, pretty big. This is a 6L, obviously like the 3L or whatever is a little smaller. There's like a five liter and 10 liter, which is too big for me. That's basically a backpack at this point. But this one's just like, just enough. Pretty hefty, kind of covers up my whole chest. Not my gut, but my whole chest there. But it's a good camera. I mean, a good bag. Uh, and then lastly, the kind of thing I rock when I'm making videos is this GoPro chest mount. I will kind of just throw this around me like so and, you know, throw the GoPro on there again, which is why I like this media mod. Um, or sorry, the GoPro Hero 8 in general is that the legs kind of just flip out here and uh, you can attach it to the media, I mean the chest mount or whatever other mount you have and just record like so. Uh, the only downside is that you have to kind of open this up and close those legs and stuff off to change out the battery. And that gets a little cumbersome, you know, most times, but I usually carry around like three batteries at a time for that GoPro. Um, so yeah. So before we get into what's in my bag part two, let's get to know who Eddie is. Who's this guy? I like to spend time, you know, waste my time watching. Who is he? What does he do? What does he like? Um, I'm black, if you did not know, of African American descent. I don't really even like to call myself African American. I just call myself American, black American, because I've been to Africa and uh, I've seen how actual Africans treat their family and just like their elders and how they live their just general life um and uh they're they're totally different in terms of just actual 
Americans. I don't I don't call them black Americans, I guess. Completely different. So I call myself a black American. Trust me, once you see it, there's there's a huge difference there. Or if you've been there, you know the difference. Anyway, sorry, I'm kind of going all over the place. Obviously, I'm a filmmaker and a photographer. Some of you may, may not know that I'm actually a filmmaker. Uh, that is my primary job. That is my primary source of income. That's what I've been doing as my main job for the past 10 years. Um, I work at my father's church, so PK if you didn't know that, and uh, been doing that ever since 2011, I believe. Yeah, 2011. Ups and downs, but you know, it is what it is. I enjoy filmmaking overall. Uh, photography, again, is just a side thing I do, and I do not get paid for it. Um, but more so, let's get into a little more interesting facts and things about me. Um, what is there to know about what's around my room? If you haven't ever noticed, I have a Spider-Man poster back there. I'm absolutely obsessed with Spider-Man. Um, I rock Spider-Man on my computer. Obviously, I own every Spider-Man movie and video game, and I don't know where they are right now, but I actually do still own Spider-Man toys, but I don't play with them. I even rock like Spider-Man little pop figures. Absolutely freaking love pops. But you know, I do got Black Panther in there. And Wakanda forever! Another thing is that I am like a huge nerd when it comes to like video games and video game culture. I absolutely love Legend of Zelda. I have so many amiibos. They're always just sitting off camera. So if you're kind of like an eagle-eyed viewer, you've seen these before. You've sometimes probably seen my PlayStation on in the background. I've owned every console. The most classic of which, which I actually have only played a little bit, is this Super NES kind of mini uh, console. And when I say I play video games, I'm not like, Call of Duty! Ah! <laughs> uh, no, that's not me. Like, Call of Duty is honestly probably my most hated game. I think that game's stupid. Even though I will play it, and I did just like buy the most recent one, mainly because I have the PS5 and the controller has like the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers, and I want to like test that stuff out. I want to see how it feels, and good lord, it feels amazing. But I'm like a super huge deep RPG player. I love big open world 80 hour games and stuff, which is why sometimes you'll just, I'll take a break from this channel and you won't see videos from me for a while because I'll just be going in like a bum. Um, I love freaking video games so much, but I, the, I don't just play video games because I'm like obsessed and love them. I do play like that. I mainly play video games because it's like actually a super, good cure for depression uh when you're just like down and whatnot you're just not feeling it people get depressed everybody gets depressed in this day and age it's a common thing and video games are my escape from that um i'll play with friends i've met a lot of friends i actually was in somebody's wedding back in this past september that i met through playing online helped him paint his house and everything and we're like pretty good friends i'm all obviously I'm, i was in his wedding um but yeah it's kind of just like a cure for depression and anxiety for me it's something that i'll just hop on to to just release for myself all right absolute favorite tv show look look at it oh my god breaking bad oh this thing is super dusty ew yeah i love this thing so much i bought the uh Obviously, this is a barrel. If you know, you know the show. And then each season, they gave away coins um, for like the season. And this one was for the season finale and just kind of the um, fans who picked up this uh, kind of Breaking Bad barrel of DVDs and whatnot. Adore this show. Next to Game of Thrones. I used to be like a big Walking Dead fan. But I quit that show a long time ago uh, just because it just went in very bad directions and whatnot. But Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Stranger Things, as of just like more recent TV shows. 
those are like my favorite TV shows, but Breaking Bad like defines me. <laughs> uh, I actually had the chance to go visit some of the like actual set locations in New Mexico and that was really awesome. This was years ago uh, when I had got my mom deeply into the show. All right, so enough about me. Let's get into, golly, camera bag two. Um, so this bag I actually picked up from just the mall. I think it was like a Zoomies or something like that. I was just looking for just something nice and small and just compact that I can carry around, just a little sack, man sack. Um, so I can just carry some film and just like my smaller cameras in. So a few things I carry in here. One thing that I actually usually carry in my pocket is a knife. And you're like, whoa, dude, chill out. This is a pretty crazy knife. It is. And you never know when you're going to get ran up on, especially doing street photography and a lot of homeless people around. So it's nice to stay protected. <laughs> That's genuinely why I carry this thing around. Obviously, I use it to like open things and whatnot, but it's also there for protection unless somebody want to roll up on a brother or the crew. We, we got some defense, bro. You never know what somebody else will do to you. I'm just saying, bro. Can never be safe. Um, so usually in this bag down here, I just carry a lot of batteries for the Ricoh GR3. These are really small, compact batteries. I usually carry around like five of them. One of them being in the camera at all times. In the back of the camera, back of the bag here, I will carry lens wipes for my glasses and my obviously lenses, a gray card, and a light meter. These two things come hand in hand when it comes to just street photography, um, when you're shooting it on film, black and white. What I like to do, and I'll probably do a video on this at some point is, you know, I'll set my exposure and stuff, my ISO and all that that I'm shooting in here. And then I'll just kind of hold this in the general light. So if I'm shooting in mainly shadows, obviously I'll hold this in the shadows and meter, meter for the gray part. Make sure just enough light is hitting it, all the light possible is hitting it, meter it. Shooting out in the bright sunlight, honestly holding the sunlight, meter for it, and then take that ring and run with that. Again, I will get more into this because there's, I think there's so much to just exposing this way, especially when just shooting street photography, I guess more specifically, or just honestly black and white, where this thing is just so clutch, never has it failed me, never, not once. Honestly, it has not failed me. <laughs> Um, but I don't want to like, you know, hold that to truth because results may vary. But again, always trust the great card. A video is coming soon and it's going to be titled Always Trust the Great Card. All right. So inside the bag here, obviously ever so beautiful Ricoh GR3. Uh, it, just as you see, like this camera is so small and there's just so much room to stick even more stuff in this bag so i absolutely love carrying that in there and then i'll usually carry one or two bags of film in here uh, i'll usually have one bag dedicated to color film and then another one dedicated to black and white film um but yeah that actually looks to be it in terms of what i carry sometimes i'll swap the pen out that i carry in the other bag to this bag and um you know use that to mark film like i always say and then last thing I carry is this absolutely beautiful, sleek, peak design travel tripod, I believe it's called. Um, this thing is super cool, super versatile. This is the aluminum one, so it actually has a nice little heft, a nice little weight to it. Um, but I love this tripod, it's very small. If I don't open the legs and just set it out on this table, look at that, I'm not a tall dude. I'm five, like six. And yeah, this tripod fully collapsed is just the length of my forearm, literally, not even my entire arm, just the forearm. So it's really, really small. Um, and then obviously it will extend and get about a good five feet, I wanna say, tall. But the specs can be somewhere on the internet. So I recommend looking it up, but I absolutely love this tripod. Um, I'll carry it around if I'm carrying either my larger camera like Mamiya and whatnot, or if I'm doing like shooting at night or really slow shutter speeds, I'll use this tripod because it's extremely, extremely handy and whatnot. So yeah, um, 
that's kind of all I have to share with you in terms of my everyday kind of carry and whatnot. Please don't rob me because y'all know I'm already walking strapped. <laughs> so if you try something, just know you might get poked. Might get poked, might poke you. <laughs> Let me chill. People gonna be like, this dude's crazy, but trust and believe. So, oh my God, if somebody tried to walk on with my M6, walk away with my M6, it's game on. I guess I'm going to jail. <laughs> Let me shut up, because I feel like something's going to happen if I keep talking, if I keep being stupid. Um, but yeah, that's all I kind of really have to share. Again, I'm probably going to do another like Q and A or something later at some point, so you guys can just get to know me and just ask questions. Uh, you know, later down the line. I'm a pretty just laid back, chill dude. When you really get to know me is when you really get to know how much of a psychopath I am. The recording stopped, but you can ask some of my family or my friends how crazy I get when just like I really get comfortable. Obviously, if I'm not comfortable around people, I won't really act that crazy because I don't want to weird them out. And, uh, you know, I just want to be part of the crew just chill back and just observe and get to understand and know people more so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up leave a comment below with just any other like suggestions you have let me know about you like i want to know who some of you are that like consistently comment on my videos i can't remember your guys' names off the top of my head right now you you know who you are though i'll just like the regular commenters like give me i want to know i want to know everybody's guilty pleasure movie genre uh, that's one thing i want to know i told you mine's mine's was adam sandler movies they're just goofy and just dumb and i just love them i want to know your guys's guilty pleasure movies leave that down in the comments below on this video and definitely if you aren't subscribed subscribe you know please consider subscribing at the least because it definitely helps this channel i love the support and honestly motivates me that's another thing here's one more quick fact about me is that i youtube for me is not like you know everybody has their different reasons that they start youtube and whatnot but like once i really got into consistently doing youtube youtube is a way for me to again just like um playing video games is just kind of a real a release of like depression and anxiety and stuff just kind of let that stuff go um it's 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 just a good release you know i just like interacting with you guys talking with you guys seeing your guys reaction to just the stuff i do how stupid i make myself look on the internet um and just laughing with just absolute strangers when you guys make me like genu genuinely laugh like down in the comment section and stuff or just across instagram or social media and whatnot i really appreciate that and I just appreciate you guys watching and interacting with me, whether it's online or in person. So thank you guys. Peace. Ow!